Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson, Robin Swift, Marketing Director for the Coastal Discovery Museum, a WHHI-TV news partner, shares the upcoming Discovery Lecture Series, which will be history and natural history based. That's pretty cool. Busy, busy, yes. You are always busy. <laughs> so let's talk about the programs on the calendar this, this coming up. Well, it's coming up and we'll be doing them through May. We're trying to do them twice a week with different topics that are natural history or history just to let people learn as much as they can about the Lowcountry. Yeah. And so uh, what can we expect? Uh, are you looking at morning, evening, afternoon? We generally, how's, it, how's it set we up? We generally do them at 3 o'clock because okay. we found, you know, a lot of people have golf or whatever during the sure. day. In the afternoon, they come at 3 in the afternoon. Oh, that's nice. Yes, and how up. long do those programs last? About, about an hour. Robin. About an about hour. An hour. And some people like to ask questions afterwards. And our speakers have been really great about staying and, and you know, helping people with whatever yeah. they want to know. And you have so much going on in and outside of the museum that there's so much more people could do before or after if they exactly. have if they want a longer day or a shorter day. Exactly. Right? And that's what we tell people. Come an hour before, walk to the Camellia Garden and then come into the program. Yeah. That kind of thing. How cool. So um are there any that are really new or different this year as yes. far as topics are concerned? Yes. What can we look for? Do you want to learn about low country vultures? Really? We are going to have a deer carcass on the property. Uh, we've figured out how soon we have to have it there so to attract the vultures. <laughs> and the day of that program, spotting scopes will be set up so there'll be a presentation. Then they'll walk out to the fields and they can look through the spotting scopes to learn more about vultures. They're interesting animals. They're very interesting. I bet they are. <laughs> I've seen them before. I won't bring any in to you. <laughs> please, please, please. No, no, no. So that's one of the new ones that we're going to have this year. That's mm -hmm. cool. And so um, how do you, what other programs do you have that like kind of go across the ages? Um, we're doing one, it's about sand, which sounds very odd, but we have a man that's a retired physician and he's collected sands all over the world that are yellow, pink, purple, black. Interesting. And, and then he has a presentation with video and everything of the sound that sand makes, the barking and the noise of sand at night, and animals that just live in sand all the wow. time on, on beaches all over the world. I would imagine. I think that's going to be a favorite one for I me that's coming that's, up. That's, yeah, yeah, that sounds like yeah, a really yeah. good one. And I think for kids, that's got to be really exactly. interesting as exactly. well. Exactly. So, um, where can I see what the lineup is? Right. Because obviously, just like everything, I, I, I'm, I'm, exactly. You know, if it's, this is some, what somebody said to me yesterday. If it's not here on my computer, <laughs> I didn't know it existed. existed. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Our website, which is coastaldiscovery.org, you'll come right to it, and it'll say um, lectures, and it'll have the whole series la listed. Or they can go to the calendar of events and say, oh, you know, I've got family here from March 1st to the 10th. Let's see what's going on. Right. And then they can go ahead and even make the reservations online. Yeah. And I was just going to mention that to you because my aunt came in and we, we had a little conversation right. about this. Really, um, uh, some of these are... Um, are reservation based, correct? Yes, yes. And and I think there's actually even limited seating. There is limited some. seating. Yes. And so uh, with that, keeping that in mind, what's you know what's the best way? Should make is people make a call? Should they obviously reserve ahead? How, how they, does we, it work? We suggest reservations, and and many of them um, fill up right away. Yeah. I mean, there's some that are closed now already. Yeah. Um, but that's, it kind of depends if we have visitors in town or locals, yeah. but I totally, you, you take a big chance when you think you'll do a yeah. walk in. Yeah. You really do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, although, you know, you can drop by to see the area, exactly. et cetera, that's not exactly. a problem, but um, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you exactly. have those and reservations. And we've got some coming up on alligators that's always popular and snakes okay. and those will fill up because you actually will see snakes so you can identify different snakes. Wonderful. And do you have certain days of the week these lectures we are? We try and do them on Wednesdays and Thursdays, okay. but that does vary. Okay. But Again, the website you got and it. reservations. Exactly. exactly. Very important. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. You got the hint. <laughs> Robin, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Sandy. Glad to have you. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.